So manufacture substances in industry, sulfuric acid. We will start with the manufacturing process huh, of uh, sulfuric acid, the contact process. Okay, now first of all, you need to remember this name. Okay, you need to remember this name because this is also one of the questions maybe asked. Huh? Okay, they will ask you what's the name of the process. And the process is called the contact process. Huh? So sulfuric acid is manufactured in industry by the contact process. Now for contact process, there are a few stages. As I show you just now, there are four stages. Eh? There are four stages. What does it mean by manufacturers? Manufacturers means to make or to produce, to make sulfuric acid, okay? Or to produce sulfuric acid. Eh? So there are four stages. Eh? Stage one is to, to produce sulfur dioxide, to produce sulfur dioxide. And to get sulfur dioxide, we combust, we burn sulfur, okay? So this is a piece of sulfur. Okay, this is sulfur and then uh, now sulfur exists as elements in nature. Normally it's around the volcano. Okay, around volcano you can find sulfur. So we can burn sulfur directly in oxygen. So we burn sulfur, solid sulfur in oxygen directly, then we can get uh, sulfur dioxide. Other than burning sulfur, okay, in the extractions of lead, Lead sulfide. This is lead sulfide. Okay, in extractions of lead sulfide, we also heat lead sulfide under oxygen, and uh, when you heat lead sulfide in oxygen, then you can get lead oxide and sulfur dioxide as well. Okay, this is a side product, uh, but this product is useful in industry, so therefore this side, uh, sulfur dioxide is also collected. Okay, so either you burn sulfur directly or during the extractions of uh, lead sulfide. Extractions of lead, uh, uh, lead iron, okay, sorry, lead metals. Uh, uh, we collect this uh, sulfur dioxide gas, or we can burn this uh, hydrogen sulfide gas in oxygen. Uh, then you will get uh, sulfur dioxide and uh, water. Uh, if you can try to remember all these uh, chemical reactions, but if you really can't remember, then remember the first one at least. Remember the first one. Try to memorize the first one, okay? Because the second one and the third one is less important compared to this one, okay? So in the exam, if they ask you the the chemical reaction, then you just need need to give one only, yeah? Okay, just give this is, is enough already, okay? But anyway, if you can remember, try to remember this two as well, okay? But if you really can, then you can skip this two, and uh, and then just try, memorize the first one. That's what you need to know for stage one, okay? The purpose of stage one is to produce sulfur dioxide okay to produce sulfur dioxide and we can get sulfur dioxide by uh combustions of sulfur okay now this sulfur dioxide if you dissolve it in water h2o okay you plus water then it will become an acid it will become an acid h2so3 okay h2so3 uh this is called a sulfurous acid eh? sulfurous acid okay and it's a weak acid eh? it's a weak acid okay but this acid is not very useful it's a weak acid and it's not very useful to us so therefore this is not what we want okay this is not what we want however this may be a uh, problems to the environment because it's an acid eh? so this sulfur dioxide gas can be released to the surrounding and then um, it dissolves in the rainwater, then it forms this sulfurous acid, and this sulfurous acid eh, contributes to the acid rain. So in industry, we don't want this, okay? But this is, this is a side product, and then so it, can, it may cause acid rain. Eh? So that's the problem of uh, sulfur dioxide. We will discuss acid rain later. So for stage one, we want to produce sulfur dioxide, and uh, but then uh, from the sulfur dioxide, we want to convert the sulfur dioxide to uh, sulfur trioxide. That's the useful things that we want. Eh? Okay, so that's for, for stage one, eh? stage one. Stage two. Stage two is the formations of sulfur trioxide. Okay, just now we already get sulfur dioxide, right? Okay, in stage two, we want to get sulfur trioxide. Eh? Sulfur trioxide. And to produce sulfur trioxide, we burn, we heat sulfur dioxide with oxygen. Eh? Then we get sulfur trioxide. Okay, so sulfur dioxide burned with uh, or heat with oxygen, then you get sulfur trioxide. But then the problem is, this process, this process is a reversible process. 
Now, what is a reversible process? A reversible process means that sulfur dioxide gas can react with oxygen to bring sulfur trioxide, but at the same time, at the same time, sulfur trioxide can also decompose to form sulfur dioxide. So maybe you form 1000 sulfur trioxide, but at the same time, uh, 950 of this uh, sulfur trioxide form, it may decompose to go back to become sulfur dioxide. That's the problem. Sir. That's the problem. So uh, it's a reversible process. Eh? Okay, sulfur dioxide can be sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide can be sulfur dioxide. For a reversible process, we we will try in industry. We will try to get the most sulfur trioxide is possible in the shortest time. You cannot get hundred percent. Eh? Okay, uh, let's say for example, if form one thousand, maybe five hundred will become will, will, will decompose eh, to become sulfur dioxide. So you can never get hundred percent. But if you can get 50%, that's good enough already. Okay, so we try to get most uh, sulfur trioxide in shortest time. Eh? In shortest times, to achieve this, to achieve this, eh? to get most sulfur trioxide in the shortest times, we use catalyst. We control the temperature and we control the pressure. So therefore, in stage two, eh? the catalyst, the temperature, and the pressure is very very important. Why? Because this is a reversible process and we need to get more sulfur trioxide in the shortest times. So this is called the optimum conditions, eh? the optimum conditions to get most sulfur trioxide in the shortest time. Okay, and the bad news is you need to memorize this. Okay, the bad news. Eh? Uh, in the exam, they may ask you, what's the catalyst use? Now for the catalyst use, we use a vanadium 5 oxide. Now, if this is asked in exam, if you write, okay, the catalyst, uh, okay, so, oh, the catalyst is vanadium oxide. That's what you get, give uh, in exam, okay? Wrong. Why? You must include the five, uh, okay? It's vanadium five oxide. It's not vanadium oxide, okay? So in exam, when you give your answer, please write vanadium five oxide. Don't give vanadium oxide, uh, okay? You wouldn't get any marks for vanadium oxide. Okay, so that's the catalyst, eh? okay? And the only way that you, the, the only way to remember this is to just memorize it, okay? Okay, no matter how, okay? So you try to memorize it. The catalyst use is the vanadium 5 oxide, okay? Then the temperature. Temperature. The temperature that we use is uh, 450 degrees Celsius. Eh? 450 degrees Celsius. How about if we, we write vanadium 5 oxide? Okay, no. Okay, the five must be in this Latin. Uh, what's the symbol? Eh? What's the symbol for this uh, vanadium five oxide? V two O five. Vanadium five oxide. Uh, that's the formula. V two O five. Eh? Okay, so vanadium five oxide as the catalyst. Temperature. Temperatures. Eh? we use uh, four hundred fifty degrees Celsius. If you get higher temperature, okay. If you use higher temperature you will have less products, eh? less product, okay, but faster. Because we, uh, the higher the temperature, the higher the, the, the higher the speed of the reactions, okay? But so if, if you use higher temperature, you will get less products. Eh? And if you get use lower temperature, uh, you will have more products, okay? You have more products, but then uh, it's slower. To get most product in the shortest time, okay? We use a 450 degrees Celsius. So this is the optimum temperature. You can get most product in the shortest time. Eh? Okay, 450. So you see, uh, we must control the temperature. Okay, and uh, the pressure. Pressure. In this case, uh, in this case, uh, higher pressure. Higher pressure. You can get more product. Okay, and uh, it's faster also. But the cost is very high. The cost is very high. So we do not use very high pressure. Even though with higher pressure, you can get more products and faster, but the cost is very high, okay? So therefore, in industry, we just use two to three atmospheres, standard atmospheric pressure. So uh, these are the optimum conditions and the reason why we want to use this temperature and this pressure. Catalyst, I think you knew, you, you know, okay, catalyst is to speed up the process, to make it faster, 
Temperature, why we use uh, 450? Because higher than this, you can get less products, but it's faster. Lower than this, you can get more products, but it's slower. So this is the best, optimum. And uh, for the pressure, even though uh, higher pressure, okay, you can get more products and it's faster, but the cost is very high. So therefore, we just use two to three standard atmospheric pressure.